Hi, um, just a short uh, video um, to warn for uh, a Bitcoin correction. Uh, currently the price um, at Bitstamp is $1,150, uh, which is around 500% higher than the 200-day moving average. Uh, the price of the last 200 days uh, is currently $180 um, of Bitcoin. So it's a lot higher now and uh, this only happens um, during parabolic rises. Um, the last month the price has five-folded. Um, this growth trend is unsustainable, is much quicker than the long-term growth trend of Bitcoin. And uh, until today, uh, not once has such a high rise uh, just plateaued. It always <laughs> has tumbled afterwards. So um, how deep um, how high can it go? Well, in April it went uh, set to 750% above the 200-day moving average. Um, the, so that would be currently um, around, uh, that would be peaking out around $1,600. But uh, in 2011 the, the highest uh, rise uh, up until today was 1,100%. Uh, it went above the 200 day moving average then when it went up from 2 to 32 dollars um, um, so that would be today if the same were to happen uh, it would peak out around 2500 US dollars um, uh, and how deep will it go well um, for example at the start of this year in April it went to the uh, it bottomed out at the 200 day moving average at the time that was $50, uh, but today that would be around $200. Um, but it could go lower too in 2011. Um, it went to minus 70% below the 200 day moving average. So that would be today to around $60. But of course, the higher it goes, the lower it goes. So if it would go to $2,500, $3,000, then actually the chances are the highest that it will go also extremely low uh, to $50 is possible huh? uh, and um, uh, but if it would already start dropping around uh, today tomorrow or around $1,500 then probably the low will be around or above the 200 day moving average so around $200 I know this sounds really extreme, uh, uh, there are no certainties, uh, there is a strong case to be made that the buying is strong, a lot of new money is here and it will not go that low uh, uh, and sure it could bottom out at $500 also but the message I hope is clear, chances that it would go below the current 1100, actually below 1000 is actually very high. So, um, um, I have been selling 15% uh, of my Bitcoins, around $1,000, uh, not to trade, um, because indeed um, I have not made, I have yet to find the first trader in Bitcoin land that makes more profit than someone that buy and holds. Uh, they are not to be found. So it is a really bad idea to try to time the market, to try to sell on a high and buy more on a low. Uh, you will succeed, but sometimes, but you will end up failing miserably and stop doing it. That, that's how it goes with most people, almost everybody. It is quite um, a um, irrational thing to do to try to outbeat something that goes up so fast with a simple buy and hold. So I have quit that but I have I did sell some bitcoins just to lock in profit for good. That means that I will not use that money to buy bitcoins even if it is only $200. I will not do that because it can always drop a lot more. Bitcoin can crash to $10. Um, chances are extremely low but it is certainly possible 
um, and it can actually still die so um, so so I think today certainly is the right time to start thinking about what if uh, the price goes to 200 or 10 dollars um, am I good what will my financial position be will I have regrets and if you do if you will have regrets then now is the time to change that um, so um, also I just want to give a quick update about silver I sold another half of my position in silver I, I sold all the, the, the gold and silver that I bought during the summer uh, thinking at the time still it was a good speculation uh, but now I have changed my mind um, I do not think anymore that gold and silver are a good speculation I think Bitcoin uh, is, is, is uh, a sure thing uh, I know that sounds stupid but um, it's as sure as it gets uh, I advise anyone to uh, read um, to read the, Fe the Federal Reserve their report uh, about Bitcoin that they released the past week it's uh, it's actually the best explanation of how Bitcoin works that I have ever read but also it concludes with saying that um, that they advise that um, large banks start uh, and governments start their own cryptocurrency so this is actually really being embraced Bitcoin by the governments by the central banks um, the chances are becoming really really low that it will be illegalized um, the market cap is still 10 billion uh, which is low for uh, for the amount of people that are approving of it so um, I think this will be uh, the future here um, and um, and uh, I think gold and silver will uh, will suffer severely uh, under this not the first year two years but uh, but actually uh, it could well be within five years time that gold will uh, see half its value evaporate um, due to Bitcoin and silver a lot more than half its value because um, um, because silver is just out of the window in a, in a world of Bitcoin um, uh, gold will likely survive as a store of value um, because it has different uh, risks but um, but it will lose uh, a lot of its uh, store of value because Bitcoin will take a big part of that but uh, silver uh, has been hanging on a thread already for hundreds of years and now with Bitcoin that's the seal of that for silver so that will now become fully a commodity and um, those that keep it will um, will see their value totally disappear I guess I, I, I think that huh? so yeah I still have some silver it's so hard to do it eh? but um, but I think it's a rational decision to make buying mining companies today even though they are historically as cheap as they can get compared to the gold and silver price um, I think is a bad bet to take because um, uh, it's like investing in uh, in horse carriage companies when the car is emerging in the roaring 20s uh, at the start of the 1900s uh, you may invest in the best car horse company um, horse carriage company uh, you can find it does not matter because they will all be wiped out uh, by the car companies uh, that emerge maybe not the first five years but certainly the next decades and um, and all the money you put in you will probably not see again um, and I know it's painful uh, there is a lot of quality to be bought today uh, Roland Van Damme just bought a chunk of uh, mining companies um, and I'm sure that he bought the best he is a great speculator a great investor but uh, but uh, it really does not matter 
in an industry that is um, uh, declining, uh, like newspaper companies in in the when in the internet uh, rose in the nineties and the new decade of two thousand. Uh, any newspaper company, it does not matter how m well it is managed, goes down dramatically in value huh? um, because the industry is being destroyed and needs to reinvent itself. Huh? And the same will be true for mining uh, gold, silver. Uh, gold uh, will lose a lot of its value as money and uh, they, are not, uh, uh, they are not mining anymore for money. They are mining for more and more a commodity that is used for jewelry, uh, but um, but the value will be a lot lower. So the, 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 the industry needs to really transform in the process. Um, almost all will go broke and uh, you really don't want to be there. Um, that's my opinion. Um, uh, I realize it's extreme, uh, but uh, yeah. I think, yeah, uh, even in the Bitcoin community, many still invest in gold and silver, but you can see it declining rapidly. Eh? Whereas two, uh, one year ago, two years ago, um, actually you had a lot of people investing in gold and silver next to Bitcoin. Today you, you start to see people liquidating their gold and silver. Um, so it's, it's starting there. And uh, I think this trend will continue. Um, so, uh, a good speculation, I think, is cyber stocks. That's what I'm doing today, because uh, even if Bitcoin succeeds, um, these stocks are historically cheap. It's just normal tourist companies and 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 and, and real estate companies and. And, uh, uh, and what else, uh, uh, hotels, um, just normal IT businesses, like all these companies uh, are being uh, valued at like ridiculous prices. Um, you can buy them below the amount of cash they even have on their bank account. Um, so those are bargains and they will also go up if Bitcoin succeeds, eh, they, they will actually not suffer from Bitcoin. They will uh, profit from that. Hmm? Um, especially in Cyprus, I think, because that country has been so damaged by the banking, uh, the credit crisis, that actually uh, I, I can see uh, new initiatives being taken. Uh, like the f the, there is now a, a, a clause about uh, cryptocurrencies in Cyprus the first class in the world, the first university uh, class in the world. So that's something, but I, I think, um, yeah. But still, it's an investment not related to Bitcoin because uh, Cypress stocks for me is safety. Eh? Well, if Bitcoin fails, these stocks will still do well also. Eh? Uh, of course, then the be something much better would be gold mining stocks if Bitcoin fails. Eh? But since the chance is so low that Bitcoin will fail, the chance is very high that the mining companies will actually fail. So, uh, so I don't. I think it's a bad bet, and I don't uh, like the idea to hedge. Uh, I think uh, investing by hedging is uh, a really a bad idea, because then always something will go bad, and then you need to not only make profits to make a profit, you need to make profits to also neutralize losses elsewhere, and that's costly. So I, I'm building my portfolio today, having a lot of different great speculations and um, profit I take out of Bitcoin now goes to cyber stocks. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope um, you, uh, you will all do well uh, during the coming correction of Bitcoin. Um, it's, there is a small chance it does not happen. So if you don't have any Bitcoin, it makes good sense to even buy at the current high prices because there is always a small chance it goes straight again to an understand falling and never touches the current price. Eh? At the market cap of 10 billion, you only need one big player. Uh, and then we're not talking about billionaires anymore, but we talked today about institutions, one big bank, one, um, one, uh, one, one nation, one um, Federal Reserve, 
uh, one big company that decides to plow a billion or two into Bitcoin or five and the price immediately triples, quadruples without uh, going back. So, so these risks are still here. So if you don't have any, it's smart to buy some, but I would advise my opinion that uh, to keep most of what you plan to invest uh, on the sideline and, um, and wait for a correction. And um, those that have made good money with Bitcoin to, uh, to think uh, if they are good when it would go down a lot. Um, this is all just my opinion. The best in life is always to trust yourself or learn to trust your own um, um, decisions, your own insights and follow them and uh, learn from them uh, because uh, also in the end I don't know uh, you know a lot more about yourself and your financial situation and your dreams than I do and they are all different so good luck bye